Welcome to Get Started with Photoshop Tutorial that teach you the basic tools and techniques of Adobe Photoshop. This tutorial introduces you to the Photoshop work area and show you how to open and save your images, zoom in and out and undo mistakes. Whenever you first open the Photoshop, you see here that there is a wide variety of command given here. First check the workspace it should be essential default if it is not there tick on the default so essential default okay now first part we, we just try and learn here how to open an image in adobe photoshop go to the file command you see a new open browse in bridge browse in mini bridge open as open as smart object open recent import and script we are not concerned with all those commands we are concerned with only this the first second one open to open the command it opens like your drive see your desktop your drive whatever the drive you have C D E F I have C D E F G whatever you name it so your images are where you need to find out my images I say are in the library in library there are four folders i click on the pictures in pictures there are sample pictures i have three plus two five six seven eight the default pictures given by microsoft as a sample pictures i will open the picture of koala here if i want to open two files together just press ctrl and select another one if i want three then select another one if i want four press ctrl and select another one but at present we are concerned with only one file that is qua double click the file or press open you will see that your file is open now when the file is open here again you will see the array of commands here see the tools wide varieties of tools no command you will see square polygon magic wand crop tool Eyedropper. Later on, later on, later on. Uh, no hurries, no hurries. Just pay attention. Just pay attention. You have a layer here. Now, Photoshop is actually about layers, brushes, mask, and all those things. So your image is right here as a background on layer one, and you can see from this particular size that it is locked. Okay, now what if I want to change the color of the, my image, go to image, again you see the area of commands here, don't worry, we'll come to later, adjustment, we have brightness and, brightness and contrast, we have levels, curves, exposure, vibrance, hue and saturation here. Now again, you have wide varieties here, you want to change reds, yellows, greens, signs, blue, magenta, we go to the master one. Move the slider here. You see the change in the color of the image. See, the image is changing colors. If I want to increase the saturation, if I want to decrease, it depends on me. If I want to increase the lightness, decrease the lightness, it is up to me. When I am satisfied with all those things, press OK. Your image is changed. Now what? After changing that part, I am not happy with that part. Do I have any option to come back? Yes. Go to edit. Step backward. Back to basics. Somehow your image is open and somehow you click one particular type of command here or particular type of tool here and you move the tool on the image. Your image is damaged. What now? Nothing else. Go to back. Again, if I draw, edit back, and can you see an alter control Z or we say control Z and bam, the part is gone. If I don't want to save my image or if I'm happy with that part, but later on we'll learn how to save. So I'm closing this. Do you want to save the image before closing? If I press that save button, then my original image of that koala is damaged. And say no. Okay. So that was how to open an image. We move to the second part. That is. So we have a new file here. You see again a 
lots of tools and commands we start with the name say my first image okay presets photos of gives you one two three four five six seven eight nine three plus three plus three nine presets ready made if you are not using those presets you can change your size manually here size is given in pixel inches centimeter millimeters points pickups and columns i say you stick to pixels and inches pixels is the, for the web version and inches are for print version say we start with a very small size we say thousand by thousand pixel okay now this thousand by thousand is the standard instagram ratio one is to one resolution 72 it is okay pixel by inches no need to change that part here the change if you want to change here but do try to understand that you should go inside your head that do whatever you are doing it should you should understand what you are doing it might be very wrong type of thinking of that say color mode rgb now there are it gives you bit map gray scale gray scale is stands for black and white rgb colors are red green and blue cmyk these are the lab colors laboratories or the printing lab use that colors and there are again lab colors colors are given in 8 bit 16 bit and 32 bit now it depends what kind of image you are dealing with what kind of camera you are dealing with if your camera gives you 32 bit go to 32 bit if it gives you 16 bit go to 16 bit and not sure i stick to 8 bit color profile again the wide varieties of color profiles are given we, we say don't go to that part okay now everything is done background what kind of background you need here see if you want white if you want color background or and if you want transparent now first we take white background and see what happened okay so 1000 by 1000 pixel our image is open a document is open you can create anything here now i'm not satisfied with that part see i go to image size if i want to change anything again i need to change say i am not satisfied with 1000 by 1000 size and i want to change the size here so i will type here 2000 by 2000 again see it will increase that part and if you see that clearly that i have i zoom in and i zoom out how i did that part see here zoom in zoom out see zoom in zoom out and can you see here in zoom in that control plus plus zoom out control plus minus you can use that shortcut command so at present i want to now what about the transparent document i'll close the document i don't want to save here again i'll take new document same thing say 1000 by 1000 everything is okay it bit color instead of white i will take here transparent and see what happened see here can you see those white and black checks here it means there is nothing there no color nothing after creating the transparent background i feel like that i want color here so there is a bucket tool here paint tool the bucket tool is here later on we'll learn that part so this is what we have learned that how to open the image how to create the image after opening the image now we take the tool of a little tool of the menu bar we open this particular image that sunset is good okay so we learn how to open the area now we take the tour of the work area now at the very top it shows file edit image layer type select filter view windows and help file we have taken that part we go to edit menu so here copy and cut copy and paste fill fill what color mm, white oh you are saying black what my image is damaged 
my image is damaged. No, I have a command here. Edit. Step back. Again, I will remove my own image here. So then, <coughs> edit will be taken. Brush preset and all those things. And we go to mode. You have gray scale RGB color you have selected. So these are the colors you are operating with in adjustment. You go to brightness and contrast. You settle the brightness of the image. Please. It depends upon your choice. It depends. It depends. If you are not satisfied, cancel. Wait to basic. Levels. What is your choice? Exposure curve, vibrance, color balance we take here. We see here I found I want to increase blue, I want to increase magenta, I want to increase red, I want to increase yellow. It depends what kind of part I'm doing this. So again I close the image and let's see where we are. Now zoom and pen. So if I open the image, again I'm opening the image. Right oh now I want to zoom in. So we'll go to view and zoom in. The image is getting bigger and bigger. See here. If I want to see actual pixels. Oops. Oh what my image is damaged? No, I'll step back here. Now when we say actual pixel here, so these are the actual pixels, and if I want to see the, the print size, now this is the print size of the image. So what we learn? Now saving your work. Say I will make second copy of this image. Now I'll go and take save my image. Here I'm saving my image in photo. So Adobe gives you wide varieties of save command. If you want to work on the image later on, that is if you are saying for say for next day you are busy, you don't have time, you have done some work and now you want to save that work and later on you want to come back again and you want to start with the scratch okay then use i say you select psd that is for photoshop psd document now what psd does psd is a standard photoshop format when you save image as psd it will save as layers here at present you have two layers here one and two you have background and you have background copy if i save this image if i save this image image is saved but no, it goes with two layers okay now if i go and open so now i have two images one the original See, if I open this image, I have only one layer here. And the second one, if I open this image, see, I have two layers here. This is one. You see that layer one? And see here. So I have two layers here. Now, instead of this first layer, if I put here some color, see black okay so now you have one image of black background copy and one is the original one and if i save as psd save okay so what i'll open that part again open I open penguins our image is here but if i open that image then see again i'm getting my image and the black background is still there don't like I'll delete that image I'm getting again I'm getting back my image so this is how you work in the document saving as JPHD you learn that part now say you are happy with your work whatever work you have done uh, I'll do certain adjustments say I will convert this image into black and white okay then I will adjust something like brightness and contrast reduce the brightness here increase the contrast or whatever so then I will go and go for some filters here 
yellow filter i want to increase the intensity of this filter and i am happy with my image this is the work i have done now i am happy with my image hmm? and i want to save my work go to file save as now this time the same image same title penguins but we are not saving in psd in fact we are in jpg now we put jpg jpeg it is known as jpeg you have three options here jpeg jpg jpeg and jpeg jpeg 2000 and jpeg stereo our target is the first one the all the images are saved in this format and now already i have one image of penguin if i will press the save button it will ask me to overwrite see here you want to replace it if i say okay then the original image is replaced with the color image which is behind right here you can see i'll say no will change the title so i will write here penguin 2 now penguin 2 is different than penguins now if i save this image my image is saved okay i'll close that part again i'll go file open where are my images though my images are in libraries in pictures pictures in sample pictures see that penguin 2 is already there so i have one original penguin i have one psd and i have one penguin 2 if i open the penguin 2 my gpg is opening okay if i go and open the original one see i have the original one here okay if i go and open the psd PSD is already there with the black background and the road will copy hidden behind the black background. So that was the starting point. Now do one thing. Go get one image. Try to learn open how to open the image, how to close the image. Try to save in the particular format. Try to save in the JPG. Try to save in PSD. Come back again and find out how, how it is done. Get the feel of the workflow. And when you're ready, I'll come back again with the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed that part. Thank you very much.